Not many people in Wisconsin's first congressional district wow. know Paul Nealon. Uh, who are you? I'm Paul Nealon, sorry. I'm running for Congress. The businessman is a long shot primary challenger to Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan. He's trying to tap into the same voter unrest that has fueled Donald Trump's campaign. I'm not obviously as rich as Mr. Trump is, but I can't be bought. Ryan has never faced a real election threat since being voted in 18 years ago. Since then, the former vice presidential candidate has had high approval ratings and currently has $7.6 million to spend on re-election. Nealon hasn't released his numbers yet. We already, in, in four weeks, have 4,000 donors. We've already raised more money than Dave Bratt did going up against Eric Cantor. Cantor was the House Majority Leader in 2014 when an obscure college professor ousted him in what was supposed to be a no-contest Republican primary in Virginia. Nealon, a first-time politician, says Ryan let down the district by not stopping the Trans-Pacific Partnership Free Trade Deal, claiming it will ship jobs overseas. Why don't you come back to Wisconsin and debate me man-to-man, -man, face to face on the realities of TPP? And if you don't want to debate me, maybe we can arm wrestle. While Ryan said he would agree to a debate, he wasn't too concerned about the race during a recent interview with the AP. I am born and raised in this town, in this district. People know me really well. I have done over 700 listening sessions, town hall meetings. People know me, they know I am a person of conviction. Yet Trump's rise means no one can take anything for granted. But certainly Ryan begins with a strong foundation of highly favorable views and very low negative views within his own party. That will need to shift or the electorate will have to change in the primary uh, to put him in what we would conventionally consider electoral danger. Of course, this year has not been a conventional year. When Ryan initially hesitated on endorsing Trump, former vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin went on the attack, supporting Nealon to help defeat Ryan. Despite the internal GOP feud, a new Marquette University poll found Ryan is still viewed favorably by about half of registered voters polled. Hello. But Nealon isn't giving up. Hi, I'm running for Congress. My name's Paul Nealon. David and Goliath. Very nice. They didn't think David could win. And we all know what happened with that story. But this story between a newcomer and a popular adversary will ultimately depend on the will of the people in the August primary. Carrie Angelfinger, Associated Press.